Three. Welcome back to Watching Games with the Jammin' Boys, <laughs> the new series from Steven and Wyatt. Uh, we got more modern, Tim on the left playing Death and Taxes, Sean on the right playing, I think it's, I would call it Bant Reclamation. No, it's four colors. It's four color reclamation. It's just all has, of the or most or expensive or cards. Math. Yeah, if you sort the most it's expensive cards. It's just four cards. color Omnath, isn't it? Or no? Is it not that, I think he has reclamations. Math. I don't think he has Omnaths. He does. I if we, saw him play Omnaths multiple games. You know, if we collect a deck list from these guys, we could just solve these problems up front. There's two Omnaths in his deck. Not interested. Do you actually know that? Yes. All right. We talked well, about it. Sean's playing two Omnaths on the right. Guy on the left, three Omnaths. <laughs> the mono white deck. We kind of vial it in. When he puts those vials to four, that's how you know it's coming. Remember there was a game where I stole one of Tim's vials, got yeah. up to six to put in a Titan. <laughs> <laughs> it was a fun one. Yeah. All right, so here comes a run in six. So the, Sean's deck is just every expensive card in modern. Yeah, any card that's been printed that has been good in modern is in his deck. Yeah, this broken forty dollars and on that. All right. Yeah, because so. I think it's like run in six this turn. Next turn's like a Teferi. Like the turn after that is something else. Omnath, maybe? <laughs> something. I don't know. I think this is a really, really cool deck. Uh, Omnath, Wyatt and I, when Omnath first entered the format, we played against it with Death and Taxes. Same matchup. Did we? Yeah, we did. In oh, Omnath, man. we were we were just blown away by how oh, good Omnath was. Really? Yeah, it just, good God, it wrecks you so badly. Maybe he doesn't have Uros. He miss, he's missing something. I, I don't know what it is. I don't think he's missing it. I think he made He has an Uro. I think, he, I think he plays land, fetches, bolts this uh, stone forge. Yeah, so this guy's playing every good card in the format, regardless of what I just said. So the power level of these piles is getting kind of crazy. It's like, do you remember check pile in Legacy? Yeah, that was a fun one. They're, they're getting to check pile levels. Where well, check pile was Grixis plus a color. Grixis plus green, was it? Uh, I think it was Grixis plus you green. You would use the, for green for death, right? And sometimes you do red for, uh, or not red. Oh, you never use white. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So it was green. Yeah. You but splash green. you just played every good card. You just put every single good one, and then... Uh, yeah, you ran Jace the Mind Sculptor, you ran Deathrite Shaman. Yeah, well, Deathrite fixed everybody's mana. Deathrite is the best card in every format. <laughs> yes. So, it's a pioneer. I don't know how these decks aren't just cold to Blood Moon. I don't get it either. Yeah, I mean, maybe like, they have a lot of basics. Astrolabe was really good I know. at fixing that, but like it's not in the format anymore. I don't know how they're like sticking it. Maybe they aren't. And, like, it does just lose the Blood Moon? <laughs> oh, maybe. Yeah, right? So maybe Tim, that's the solution. Tim's got a lot to think about here. He's got a Vial on two, two lands, a Ghost Quarter. So he's going to go Ghost Quarter as Wasteland. Vial on two, just going to leave that up. And pass to Sean. I think he's got a, a, a Falia, is what it looks like, but he doesn't want to just walk it right into that Renin Six. So if you Violate in a, in a turn, you get a good attack against it. Because that, that, that's, I mean, I guess it's still at six, none of it, Yeah, none of it's great. Is the huge problem. Tim has been given lemons, and he is attempting to make lemonade, is what I'll say. So the path onto Arbiter... Yep. Opting to not get a land? He didn't have the mana for it, because he had Arbiter. Does Arbiter see itself die, though? So you can't fetch or search? I guess this has Exile, then search, so it yeah. would stop his continuous effect. I don't know. We're wording on, wording on some things like that. Is yeah. Weird. Like, if Rest in Peace gets destroyed, Rest in Peace gets exiled... Like, a lot of things are have weird interactions. I, I think he probably should have gotten to search, if I had to guess. So, bolt <laughs> on Thalia, flicker the Thalia to save it from the bolt. And then your things cost one more still. Yeah, well, I mean, also, all it really does is make him tick down the Ren and Six, but it keeps the Ren and Six from ulting one turn sooner. Because I don't think, if, if Sean can just cast a, a bolt every he turn. He just goes Ren and Six, Ren and Six, and kills both of them. God, gross. Yeah. This deck is really good. Tim has two cards in hand. One's a Sophie, the other is an unknown that I... Sean has got uh, Tef Tef Teferi, Cryptic Command, Art, and uh, Force Negation. Really? Yeah. That's that's a pretty good trio, I would Camera say. Camera got kicked again. Well, the table got kicked, maybe. People like to lean on tables. I don't know why we're surprised about it. So Ren and Six ticking up. Well, Tim is threatening to violin a dude, slam this sword on it. And then just beat wholesale ass. But I mean, I'm pretty sure Sean's got it covered a few ways. What well, Sean has five, six mana, so he can, like. I don't know. I'm tempted to say this is one of the matchups where if you get past turn seven, the game is ended. 
you know, like eventually Sean's gonna. You, you can't nod. You have to talk. <laughs> I can't hear you nod. Everybody, I'm nodding. <laughs> I get nodded to that. <laughs> Sean's deck is so inevitable that I think eventually he'll figure out a way to, to wrap things up. But I'll just be in the background doing sign language. Just nod. Yeah. <laughs> we should get a camera on you or something. But no. Uh, but yeah, like. I don't know. Ren six wins games technically, but Uro wins them much better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here goes an Uro. Excellent. Probably like just leave Bolt in the graveyard for this Ren six ult. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bolt in there. Oh, but he has path. He has the path. And Sean's. Sean uh, to draw. He's not gonna search. I don't think so. Maybe oh, he has all his basics out. He's an island in a forest. That has. To I be don't wrong. know, man. These decks are strange. Yeah, maybe it is right. I'm like. Maybe they just lose to if he gets a basic here, I would I would give it a stern huh, like that. <laughs> yeah, right. He fetches for the basic. No, yeah, it's a sacred. God, sacred foundry, huh? Why is that weird? That has to be the worst land to fetch for in this deck, I think. Well, I mean, but it's modern. You get to, you play pioneer and you forget how good fetch mana bases are. You play humans and you forget how good yeah. fetch mana bases are. <laughs> <laughs> I, play, I play no fetch mana bases and I should because just life is so easy. You just get whatever. I guess he has one of every dual land that's not black yeah. on the battlefield right now. There's six of them. No, no, there's four. Well, yeah, but there, there's six <laughs> of those cards. I, I think your math's a little off, pal. All right, what does he got? Here comes a, that's a hero of Dominaria. The big boy's a fairy. That fairy is so good. Kind of, huh? Yes. Huh. All right, here comes a... That's, that's a misty reinforced. <laughs> is there also a thing you Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> are you new to commentary, too? <laughs> what are you doing? All right. Uh, plus on Ren and Six yeah. and back. And again, this is this is boring Ren and Six. Just like you're crushing them. Yeah. The, uh, but just you gotta land. I think LSV put it a good way. Where like, Teferi wins. G it's called Teferi fatigue. Teferi okay. will never win a game, no. but eventually you'll get annoyed enough where you'll scoop. Yeah. Like I hate watching this. Just yeah. Like. Well, it's such a real thing. It goes to five. It goes to five. If you can't kill it immediately, yeah. it eventually ults. When it ults, all your permanents go away. He just shuffles the Teferi back into the deck infinitely. You draw your deck and lose before him. Yeah. It takes 30 to 40 minutes. I know. Well, I mean, well, let's not even go that far. It, it goes to five, right? Your opponent draws a card, which is the last thing you want in a control matchup, and then they untap two lands to Aether Gust, whatever the hell you have. It's just like, this is unbearable. It's a cryptic command. <laughs> yeah, I, I, we, we only loosely talk about the game in front of us. Yeah, right? We're generally telling <laughs> stories and <laughs> other games yeah. that we've seen be played. Yeah. All right, so Tim has seen enough of this shit. He scoops it up. We'll go to game two. Tim starting off game two with uh, looks like a reasonable hand. He's got a, a Skyclave Apparition, which is probably not at its best here. I don't know what it would really do. Skyclave? Yeah, I mean, it's good. I, I just I think that like... It's four or less. It's everything. It's everything. Doesn't hit big to fairy, bro. It's all math and Uro and like all, all right, the good right, targets right, in the right, deck. Right, like right. Ren and Six. You, stop, little you stop listening and you're just shaming me now, honestly. All right, so Thalia on turn two is pretty good. It's put Sean behind um, a turn. Unless he can just bolt it for two mana. We'll find out here in a second. Wyatt has a date to play <laughs> no, World of Warcraft <laughs> tonight. And so he is... Checked out. My boy. Your boy. Taryn. <laughs> yeah. All right. Timmy getting in for two here. Is it going to land, or is there a removal spell on deck from Sean? Fetch Bolt. I don't I don't like pathing on this early. I mean, it doesn't matter, though. I don't think it matters. I think you just you got to sometimes. Like, I think both these decks, like, just don't care about the advantage. Oh, having a land? Yeah. Yeah. I think, like, you're keeping it. But, like, Uro stabilizes your life total. Maybe you do want to slow roll it. Maybe you want to cast a two, three mana spell next turn. That's Teferi, Bounce Vial. I, magic sucks. <laughs> well, I don't understand what, you're, what, the, what the issue is. Here. I was like thinking about different plays, and I was like, "Wow, yeah. this is all lame." Well, I think that Sean doesn't care if Tim gets more lands. It's unlikely. I mean, he, he'd rather he didn't get more lands, but it's unlikely he just overwhelms him. So I think there's a little bit of confusion about whose turn it was. The attack into the untap of the basic yeah. to, to back into main phase for Tim. <laughs> yep. Alright, so there's a path in the moment that Uro, uh, Uro is on in the In response to its stat or triggers, yeah. path the Uro. 
He's a tutor for the land. Still get to draw, still get to put a land in, still get to gain three life. <laughs> it's just unbeatable. And you get another land and your opponent discards a card. Is Sean playing Field of the Dead in this deck? I think so. I think I mean, Sean's yeah. just playing every card in this deck. It's yeah. very good. I hope we see an Omnath. I really enjoy that guy. He's good. Yeah, he is. You're right. He draws a card. Among a few other things, <laughs> yes. I always forget that he draws a card. I know. Sometimes when I play him, I like play him, don't draw a card, and he's still unbeatable. <laughs> if you can, like, in Pioneer, you can turn f- whatever. If you can play a Sylvan Carried and you can play him with a land drop up, you can draw a card and then Fabled Passage uh, to uh, get a Swamp and then cast an Invisit. Mm-hmm. I'm tempted to run two Swamps and Invisit. Before, because of that, that interaction, I, th- I actually think you're right. Because if you draw it on accident, and you play Shadow's Verdict, which you sometimes need to cast or die, and it's a double black spell. Yeah. So I can kind of see the appeal of that, too. Yep. <laughs> we're talking about a format that this game's not in. Yeah, we're talking about a completely different it's format. It's commentary. We're good at this. We know what to do. So, I mean, we're, we're getting the broad strokes of the game. Tim has played a number of Aether Vials, drawn a lot of lands. I guess he only is has Aether, Is Aether Vial good in this matchup? I mean, Sean has Cryptic Command. You have to... I get. I always heard Cryptic Command is in yeah. this deck. You don't I, thought, I thought it was just like a Planeswalker creature style deck with removal, yep. but it runs Cryptic Command yep. and Force of Negation. Like. It, it is a mono blue deck with a bunch of green, white, and red cards in it. It's so weird. You run Bolt. I think Bolt and Red and Six are the red spells. The white spells are all the Teferis. In the past. Pass. The green spells, Uro and Hour of Promise and Omnath. And Omnath is all four of them. God. Yeah. What a pile. It is, it's a pile, but it, it just the cards are so individually powerful. It doesn't really matter. It, like, uh, they just, they're so good. All right. We're watching this in double speed, and it's still like, <laughs> there's a lot of time between plays sometimes. It just happens. Magic Think, is... Thinking is part of magic. No, it's fetching. Fetching in modern takes so much time. Yeah. Be one color, yeah. everybody. Yeah, guys, just play one. Tim doesn't have to fetch at all. He just he has to like has a lot of cards, make opponents search their libraries, but whatever. It's opponents, it's their fault, not his. Yeah. <laughs> They're slow at it. Don't bring a library if you don't want to search it, idiot. I think it's also like in, in a three color deck you usually know what you're getting. In a four color deck, you have to actually think. There's a lot. If of you're that. in five colors, you have to think even harder. Yeah. I'm because I remember playing Modern Div Mizzet. It was a thing, and like some of my I would have like a two minute fetch sequence. Because I'd have to figure out exactly how each fetch would fetch for different colors. In Pioneer and Invisit, it's the exact opposite. You just don't pay attention to what you're laying. And you're, you're just how it yeah. always works. You just run a bunch of... Well, there's no Blood Moons in the format. Oh, no yeah. one's going to get you. You just play 28 different non-basics. It probably works out. Here's an Ashiok. I actually like Ashiok a lot. Ashiok, I don't know. It's between unbeatable and irrelevant in every matchup. I think in, the, I think in this matchup, I don't, know, I don't know if you need to exile a graveyard. I don't know if you need to stop searching... It turns off Stoneforges. But like, you're going to play Stoneforge on turn two. But what if he doesn't? Then he's going to play like Thalia, and he, it still costs one more mana. I think it's like a little awkward. I think it comes down too late for it to be relevant enough. Maybe. And its minus isn't powerful enough? It doesn't do much against this deck, Axel, on your idea. I guess you get to mill yourself to fu- fuel your Uros, which is always cute. That is very cute. Yeah, right? Like It's yeah. nice. It's good. You probably win games pretty quick like that. Here's a Field of Ruin. Oh my god. Field of... Oh, the dead, the dead. dead, yeah. He's got he, those tokens are Pokemon on the backside. Sean is electing to use the Magic the Gathering side. <laughs> They're what coughings or uh, Coughagrigus. It's the only zombie type Pokemon I could find. It's not. It, everybody in the chat just be like, "Here's, here's a zombie Pokemon." <laughs> there, is there, if there's another zombie Pokemon, I will buy the card. Just I'm sure you know. there is. Okay, is that Tim's. Uh, he's recasting me the vial. Yeah. I After think he has some of it. Yeah, that feels really bad if you're Tim. Baby Teferi. No, having your Aether Rail bounced. You, like, put turns into it. Yeah. Like, oh, it's got some counters on it. Nope. The worst part is in Legacy, sometimes you want to flicker your own Vile to reset it. Yeah. But, like, in Modern, you never want to do that. No. Yeah, right? All right, here comes a Bolt. He's a 3-3. Three, three. Yep. Tim Tim brought the Illusion token for his opponent. What a guy. Hey, all right. He's I mean, a good have you ever, Do you not play Beast Within? Do you not run the, have a 3-3 three, three in your board? No, I don't. I oh, don't. really? No. I make my opponents deal with that problem. <laughs> all right, so Teferi is going to 7. Just obnoxious, honestly. This is five. Like this is attack for five. This yeah. is like a four-turn clock, not including the fact that this is Teferi. Yep. He has four lands and a rip. So Tim didn't get to draw those lands. He's an arbiter. Tim had some discipline to keep that on too. Uh, I think it went up from one to two. I don't uh, think it was on two. Yeah. I don't know, dude. I think he had one on one. And oh one right, three. right, right. He yeah. bounced one on more. Okay. All right. Well, then, what? Like, 
this is to fairy fatigue right here. Yeah. So like a different <laughs> sense. Like yeah, man. Like we're we're fatigued watching. Yeah. Tim draws ten cards and concedes because yeah. good God, who wants to do this? Awesome. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next time.